Okay, I've got another mango. This is a golden water lily mango. You see, it's like very like white-ish in color, like just a very, um, very like light color. It's not, it looks kind of like a, a Haitian mango in like the size, but it's a, a lighter color. Um, yeah, so let's see what this one's like. There's the inside. Smells pretty nice. Uh, these are actually like ready to go. They're like a little bit, they're just like perfectly ripe, I think. So, looks pretty good on the inside. Fairly light color though. Hmm, well, that's really nice. Mm. Yeah, there's like no sourness to this at all. Like none. It's just like really, really sweet. So if you don't like, if you don't like sour foods or sour fruit, um, this would be a good one to have. Actually, like I don't think I like it that much just because I do like sour mangoes. Um, and just like, it's got like quite a lot of flavor to it, but it's just, it's just sweet. Hmm. I mean, it, it's got a lot of flavor, but it's like a subtle flavor. I, I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Because like when I eat it, my first inclination is just like, sweet. It's like, that's like what, what it really hits me. But, It is like really like nice to eat. I'd say like maybe there's a little bit of a cashew fruit taste to it, or like a Haitian mango taste to it. It's got like maybe like a slight, um, a slight melony taste to it. It's like a very light flavor. It's like like eating like a chiku or something. It's like it's sweet, but it's like a heavy sweetness. Like eating like brown sugar. This is just like. Like sugar water, it's got like very, a very light flavor. Hmm, maybe like a little bit nutty, but like super mellow. Um, yeah, but good. I would get it again for sure. But um, I think like, I don't know. As a mango, this is not my favorite mango, but it is nice, especially if you don't like sour fruit, this would be a great way to get into eating a mango, but other than that, I don't really think I have much more to say about this one, but it's nice, check it out. I'm in uh, Cagayan de Oro, I just went to a market called the Carmen Market, and there was a guy selling this very, very tiny little unripe mango. He had a sign saying it was an Indian mango. And uh, he's selling it unripe with like uh, all the condiments like fish oil and chili powder and salt and stuff like that. So I have it with um, some salt. So here it is cut up. You just like uh, peeled it and poured it. Okay, there we go. Salty. The salt. Very, very sour. Kind of like amberella fruit, but it's got like a uh, like a carrot taste to it. It's like a little sweet and vegetable-like, but yeah, distinct taste of like carrot or like parsnip, like that kind of flavor, but with um, a slight sweetness and like a green flavor. It's actually really nice, but not as a fruit, but more as like a vegetable. If you were to like cut this up and like dip it in like salad dressing or put it in a salad, it would actually be really, really good. But it's getting really loud and people are staring at me, so I'm gonna go. But thanks. Hey guys, before you click out, I just have a quick shout out to the amazing super patron Larry Cordner. Larry donated on my Patreon page. And thanks to his contribution and the contributions of my other fantastic contributors, I now have reached two milestones on my Patreon page, which means I'm going to be tracking down even harder to find fruit, including the incredible 
the elusive Paw Paw. I'm gonna be doing that in just a few days, so uh, I'm really excited for that. If you haven't been to my Patreon page, please click on this window, click on me to be taken there, and you can learn more about how you can make this series even greater. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and thanks for your help. Really appreciate it. Take care.